recap of what happened last time. I didn't put the notes in. I honestly don't have any idea. Uh, um. Okay, so I paid attention the last time. We I fell um, asleep the last were. Time <laughs> We're 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 Can in. That be my recap. Uh, crypt, <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're we're in Crypt Garden Forest, trying to purge it of the sorrow sworn, which have uh, begun infesting it, <clears throat> in order to like get the help of the elves and the and the tribe that are there. We stay the night with the elves. Um, uh, Artemis managed to pull his little uh, palm reading, card reading, fortune telling trick and was rewarded with druid money, which is basically trail mix. <laughs> um, we headed off, followed the tracks to a, like essentially a portal that these things emerge out of, but that portal is also connected to the power of a, uh, Abyssia in some way. Uh, and we were told like, basically We've got two choices. We can wait for the Sorrow Sworn to come out of the portal and fight them, or we can go into the portal, fight them on the other side, uh, probably in the Shadowfell itself, but they'll be stronger there. And we're like, man, fuck it. And we decided to go into the portal, find the uh, Sorrow Sworn, and are uh, uh, currently fighting them. And also, right. Salem found out that the acid muffins are very tasty. Acid cupcakes, I should say. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Yep. You've had a couple now. This does sound all like a surprise to me. <laughs> all right, yeah. So, la so yeah, I don't think you saw this map, uh, Sam. But uh, last we left off, we were in the middle of battle. So we'll pick up where we were. Uh, uh where my turn order go? Refresh Just popped up twice. And it keeps disappearing. Try again. Do okay, you see it's on my on screen, it? but no, I just rolled and there's nothing on it. Yeah, it's blank. Huh. Well, poop. Roll 20 never has issues. Never. Never, ever. Is it blank for you, too? Yeah, it's it was blank for, for me, me too. Oh, no, like DM, because yeah. if the DM could see it, he could still run it for us, and just we wouldn't know the exact order, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. If I roll for this guy, I could look at the not video. Gonna add it. Let's see, can I? Oh, oh there we oh, go. There, there it comes is. all of it now. Uh -huh. uh, how okay. are you? Uh, uh. <laughs> the DM make it happen. Yes. Oh, it looks a little different. <laughs> the world's okay. gonna update again. I think so. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, yeah, it looks like the font. It's different. Yeah, now. it looks a little different. Or maybe that's not new. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't say what, I but like it's it. like it looks a little different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like yeah. the font is smaller in my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like in the in the description box. It looks fun and child friendly. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, what's that all about? Okay, so let's. That. Okay. All right, so. I don't think these little guys went first, but oh well. Um. Okay, so. So let's see. Let's kind of take a take view of what's going on here. Uh, Artemis put up a big wall of fire that is now kind of in the back of uh, of all of them. A, a bunch of them ran through it and took a bunch of damage. One of them still kind of standing in the flames. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the a couple of them have kind of rushed towards the back. The small ones surrounded Sabolin, who's like slowly trying to take them out. Uh, Kevu cast like a moonbeam, which is still there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that'll be important to remember for the person, for you, Susan. Susan, are you going to try to do Kevu? Yeah, try. I was trying to ask Ryan what uh, circle druid he was so I could like study up on it beforehand and never respond. Yeah, no I worries. think he's dreams. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's yeah, trained. That sounded he's the familiar when I was looking so, yeah. at it. Yeah, the one that has like the extra killing mechanic, I think. Yeah. Or no, is that? No, no I was thinking. Yeah. It no, is, he is, it has is the one that healing. has the healing. No, yeah, so does Druid. Shepherd has buffs. That's right. I've um, yeah, never played something. a Druid in my life. And uh, Nova's flying above the battlefield right now. Mm -hmm, I got in trouble when I played a Jesus uh, esque because I wasn't allowed to directly make him a Jesus shepherd mm -hmm. druid. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make him Buddy Christ. I wasn't allowed to. Okay. I remember that I wanted to. You know banish... why Vecna is always angry? Because he can't do the Buddy Christ pose. So, all right. So, um, the uh, music. All right. So, um, it is their turn. Uh, first off, the lost. This one uh, down here with its. This one has kind of the spikes coming out of the sides of its body. Um, it is going to rush forward to Artemis and try to just grasp him with those four spikes come poking into you, uh, shooting in your direction, Artemis. Okay. Ooh, and that's a 24. That's, uh, that, that, that is higher than my AC. <laughs> okay, so... So you take 23 piercing damage as these oh, spikes okay. just from all sides come and stick into you. And you are grappled by these spikes. While you're grappled, uh, you are frightened by this creature. You can't escape it, but you're frightened of it. Um, and we'll take psychic damage at the end of each of your turns unless you escape that grapple so it just Don't like kind that. of comes in and it grapples onto you and it just goes uh, as it just kind of slobbers all over you this giant fleshy creature that is gross okay so the little guys here, let me move the ones that are dead. Okay. Just to get them out of that. Oh, we'll still up. Uh, God, that's like half my fucking health. Close to it. I don't think Ryan was properly tracking his spell slots. Nah, don't worry about it. He ca <laughs> I think he just spent one. one he spent his yeah, moonbeam. One, one moon I don't. Beam. So, Maybe one of like, don't worry about it. Just do the moon. Take the moonbeam off. And that's what I don't was worry thinking. about anything else. Yeah, I don't know what else to use. Uh, okay, these guys are gonna swarm around um Sabalin. Moonbeam does does that do damage at the start of the creature's turn who's in it? Let me double check because I have Can you post uh, it? Yeah, Moonbeam triggers at the start of the creature's turn. Okay, so that pink one was actually in it at the start of its turn. Yeah, when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn. Who who got the moon holographic for the moonbeam? I gotta ask. Yeah, I made that long ago. <laughs> that was back oh, when good idea. Like Sableen used to <laughs> cast it. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so can you roll 2d10 for me, uh, Kevu? Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I just really wanted to hear your impression. <laughs> and I'm going to do this so that, um... Okay, so four damage, so this guy takes four. And... And this guy actually runs runs in that direction because they're just kind of mindless, and it runs over towards Sablin as well to swarm him. Since you're up in the in the sky, Nova, uh, and as it does, just gets obliterated by the moonbeam and turned into dust. But <sighs> Sablin, let's see, you're gonna have. Uh, 
couple attacks coming at you. And I forgot okay. to do this last time, but these guys actually have uh, pack tactics. Oh, sure. These are, are all going to have advantage. I think my shield is still active because I don't think I've had a turn since the last time I used shield. So I think it's still active. Okay, yeah, because that was when like the angry guy yeah. hit you. All right. So with your shield, let's see how these guys do. So these all have advantage. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh my god. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, what they the really fun? want you dead. <laughs> oh man. Uh, good thing I got 26 to see. Oh, wait, no, because those are crits. That <laughs> doesn't are matter. Crits. That is yeah. the 26. <laughs> oh my god. What okay. the fuck is that? Wow, uh, that's bad. Well. All right. So let me do three of these. Um, let's see. So, one, two. Um, okay, so 5 plus 14 is 19, plus another 8 is uh, 27 piercing damage as these little creatures uh, sneak in past your shield. Um, and now three of them are attached to you. Ooh, okay. Let's say these. Is that what that death symbol was? Maybe some of these were supposed to already be attached to you. Yeah, I, th right. I think two of them already got attached to me. The, the two with the death symbol already on them. Okay, so... That's the rich can't say. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say then. Um, because... Those two couldn't have actually attacked. So I'll take... I'll t roll, me a, roll me a 1d4. On an odd... Uh, we'll say that the miss was one of the guys. Uh, yeah, okay. So, this guy... Alright, so both of these two guys are also, also attached now. So, I'll, we'll oh. say... Um, but I'll, I'll take away one of those big ones. So, we'll say that you actually just got... Well, actually, that would... with. <clears throat> two more 1d10s. Um, that would be the same amount of damage. So, Okay, so... Same same number of damage, but some of them are just kind of attached onto you and like suck and sucking on you. Um, and now these other two attach on as well. So now you have four of these things like latched onto you. And uh, it seems as long as... Unless you start taking them off of you, they're going to continue to do damage to you every turn. Gotcha. Yeah, my, I'm flailing my arms around at this point. Like, got covered in leeches. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, and now this guy, this lonely guy, is uh, will take damage at the start of his turn. So how much, uh, how much damage does he take, Josh? Uh, it's the flames uh, of the, uh, from the flames. wall. Uh, yeah, here I'll just I, I'll I'll re-roll the five d eight. Cool. That much. All right. Eighteen. So what is eighteen damage at the start of his turn as the flames are uh, licking up on him. We'll step forward a bit to be like just beneath. Actually, we'll go pretty much just beneath uh, Nova, and then we'll look up in Nova's direction. Um, as he looks around... Hey, you pervert! I also <laughs> forgot that this guy gets advantage when he has creatures around him. He is the so, lonely. Yeah, so he's not very lonely right now. So he's going to <laughs> shoot up at you with his harpoon. The fifteen hit you. Uh, I don't remember. Any. Ow. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, so this guy like shoots out his arm like um, Mr. Fantastic. It just like stretches out and harpoons you in the side. Um, and that does. 21 piercing damage. 
and you are grappled. And then... Whose idea was it to charge in here? I don't feel like it was my idea. It was a collective idea. <laughs> You've, you've taken out a couple of the small ones. Um, n now I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw for Nova. All the damage. Oof. All right, so you take another 19 uh, psychic damage as you're then pulled into this creature's embrace. Is she unconscious? Does she look like she just wait. bled hard from the other damage? Wait, wait, the 21, I didn't account for my temp HP. Oh, yeah, use your temps, use your temps. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, I had temps, and you said 19. Now I am uh -huh. at one HP. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and also face to face with the lonely. Yep. He's just holding you and, and just hugging you tight. As you still have that harpoon stuck. Uh, one of the harpoon arms uh, is, is like stuck is, through you. Is so gross. He's just like rubbing his cheek up on you. He's very happy <laughs> to have a friend. <laughs> I am not a like buddy pillow. <laughs> His skin is extra saggy, and like when it pulls down, you almost see that weird underfleshy part. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's got a fanfic he wants to tell you all about. <laughs> all right. You're going to be his new waifu. <laughs> no! All right, so it is Sableon's turn. These guys are dangerous, as you have just seen. What are you going to do? Okay, so the uh, the damage they do because they're attached to me, is that beginning of my turn or on their turn? It's on their turn. It's like instead of attacking, they just automatically do that damage. Gotcha. So, yeah, so bypasses AC then. Right. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I think I had Armor of Faith active from you last did. time. You did. So I need to roll some concentrations then. And since, oh, yeah. I have, since I have Eldritch Mind, I think I have advantage on these. Uh, how many times do I need to roll that? <laughs> roll it uh, four times. You would have gotten hit four times. All right, let's see if my Armor of Faith is still up. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, nice. So you okay. still got that, that plus to your AC. Okay, cool. Um, second question, since they're attached to me, can they still make opportunity attacks if I move? Um, no. They'll just move with you. Okay. In that case, I just gotta bet that the angry doesn't hit me while I run over to Nova. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna... Arms still flailing, covered in these leeches. Nova, hold on! And I'm going to run over this way. And I okay. assume that provokes the angry. So, yes. No. It does. Oh, yeah. You... Um, he's going to just swing one of his hooks at you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so that Ooh. does 27 damage. Well, how does everyone feel if today ends up being a TPK? <laughs> so I'm down now. <laughs> we do have a B team. Oh, wow. I was, uh. We're really hoping. <laughs> I could have taken a hit, but not a crit. Jesus. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. That was bad luck. Damn. Well, yeah, that's how it goes. Well, I'm so down. What is that four the, out the, of five the crits? Bad luck doesn't begin attacks? to describe it. Like, we're in one in 8,000 chance here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, like, that was what? Four out of five of the last attacks, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so, yeah, so, but, Sableon, you are down. These guys are still all attached to you. Okay, Nova, you do an AoE thing, kill all of them, I heal him. What do you say? Uh, uh, I don't, uh, know any of those spells. <laughs> wow. 
Artemis? Uh, I, I have spells, yes. I'm about to, I'm about to die from this fucking psychic damage. I need to get out of this first. You're still yellow. She's red. He's an X. I think they're more important at the I'm, moment. I'm I'm aware of that. I will be I will be red, if not down, at the end of my turn if I'm not out of this grapple. Don't worry. If I hadn't been crit four times just now, it was gonna be real cool when I saved Nova. She flew up and fireballed all these things off me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nova. It's your turn. You are grappled by this creature who's hugging you. Sableen has run over to try to save you, but then he himself took a hook and is down on the ground. Uh, uh, who? Who do I fucking banish? <laughs> that is the question. Probably the one hugging you. I mean, that, that does I give you more do options. Two of them. Oh, fuck yeah. Because I'm... <laughs> then I'm going to say second bet would be the one hugging um, Artemis. If you, if you want... Yeah, you could do that. Uh, if you want to do, like, a huge galaxy brain play, you could banish yourself, end, automatically ending the grapple and bringing you back instantly, ungrappled. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God, it's oh Orion. God. <laughs> Ryan, hello. So Ryan, you you, you showed up same? just in time to die. <laughs> Wait, what? Thing? It, bad things are happening. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I'm at one I, HP. I just Shangle rolled like a down. bunch of crits. It's not looking good. <laughs> I, I had a really cool plan until I got crit four times. <laughs> Bro, I had the best idea to get us out of this. Damn it! I'm not there though. <laughs> I mean, if it's not even, <laughs> so yeah, it hasn't I, I even come up to your turn anyway yet. So yeah. Oh, it don't worry. I got the fast. game winning play. I got okay. it. Don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Great. Well, I know exactly what's going on, and I know exactly how to solve it. Wait, I can, I, you. can I not? Oh, wait, I can cast Banish. Anyway. I'm a Red Velvet Inferno. Then you can bitch. double cast it on you and Artemis, and then well, the the grapples. Yeah, but we're just going to pop up in the same place, and the same problem's going to be, you know, I don't well, know. In, well, I mean, sort of, but we will reappear ungrappled. Which and means you we can, can just get away. disengage and run away. Yeah. But this is my action. True. And he's got a million feet range. True. So. It's, so maybe it, banish him uh, and the yeah. lost? I was thinking, yeah, the, yeah, the lonely and the lost. That's who I'm going to banish. It, it just comes down to like, like the the one of the other benefits of doing yourself and Artemis is the fact that I believe y'all can like, like like choose to fail the save so it's guaranteed to work whereas there's always that chance that the lonely and the lost will both you know make their saves nah i felt like they were all in crits tonight i mean i feel like banishing ourselves just just keep in mind that um oh no i guess you can you can like drop the spell so i was gonna say it's max what to do Keep in mind, you'll be, you'll be, you're not native to this plane, but, but also, uh, you, that doesn't matter. Never mind. <laughs> no, it actually does matter. It would send the two of them yeah. back to their native planes and they wouldn't come back, actually. Well, no. if the spell ends, then they would still come back. Which it would automatically right end now. because yes. she'd become incapacitated. Yeah. Mm hmm. But I and, could uh, banish them until we could get away. <laughs> so, okay, so. Oh, oh, no, I'm wrong. That's not true. Uh, it won't automatically bring us back. Yeah, um, because they are because we're not incapacitated when we're our, when we're on our native plane. Yeah, mm -hmm. no idea. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, so so it banishes to to okay and okay. It just says another plane system, so we're not in a risk no, of sending the them to their home. Is... I hear. <laughs> no. Yeah. With... The but yourself, wouldn't you go back so to the, the other plane? If they're on their home plane, it sends them to a random plane. If yeah. you're on a native plane, it sends you to your home plane. Is the important part of that spell. Yeah, so Nova and I would go back to the material plane. But she wouldn't I'm be incapacitated automatically. And therefore, we wouldn't <laughs> pop immediately back. <laughs> I'm at the airport. There's a lot of planes here. <laughs> thanks, for your, thanks for your input, Ryan. I, I'll imagine if okay, uh, this Ryan, does work and right one. 
I only imagine if this does work and she does banish both the lonely and the lost, they just appear into like some airplane seats just up on a 747. <laughs> Guys, it's remember to spend office. all of your inspiration. This is going to work. It'll be great. I believe in us. Wait, how does it not good, say? Good luck. Oh, I didn't put the okay, so... into there, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to banish the lost and the lonely. Okay. Is anyone dead? <laughs> Save the yeah. unconscious. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they Classic need to make wisdom. <laughs> and I'm gonna spend oh, inspiration to. I don't know if I can Ooh. help them be worse okay. at that role. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you can. Um, you can give one of them disadvantage. Ah, Susan, uh, speaking smarter. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm the the Ooh. lost. Okay, the lost has disadvantage. I'll roll the lost first. Good job. Okay, <laughs> negative two. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, Let's have, fucking they go. both have really bad charisma. So, oh, and God. an eight. So, Nova, suddenly, um, you cast. Can you tell me? Tell me what this looks like. So, like, I cast like a like a big like beam of like red light, and it engulfs them in like a big circle, and then it like cracks, and when the crack explodes, they're like gone. Okay, nice. So suddenly, uh, Artemis, those spikes that were just into you just pop and disappear. Um, and and the harpoon arm that is through you, Nova, just disappears. Blood comes spurting out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you did it. They're gone. And, and you assume from where you are on the ground right now, um, you see these creatures like, like still attached to Sabalin. You think you could move away from them and not, and they wouldn't attack you as they're like fully attached to Sablin. She's Green also in the air. Sure. I also she was have... in the air, but then she got pulled down yeah, by yeah. the lonely. Sorry, she got scorpioned over. Yeah, I can still fly yeah. also. But you could fly now, yeah. I could fly back. Do you still have movement save for your fly? No, it's my uh, Asimar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not a spell. Yes. Uh, I'm going to. She's just a dragonfly. Uh, kit give some kitten kisses to Sablin. How many kitten kisses? Uh, <laughs> actually, All fuck. I don't remember kisses. how to fuck it. It's just a fucking. It's like a dice. Well, third. I forgot how it works. <laughs> it's not. It's right. not a healing word. It's like it's similar to healing yeah. word. It's like a. Yeah, yeah. It's the warlock ability. <laughs> Oh, it's your oh, it's your uh, D6 thing. Healing light, yeah, yeah. I can yeah, spend so like get, as many yes. dice or something. As yeah, you I get want. to spend up to your charisma modifier, I think, in dice, and they're all D6s. Minimum of one. Are you just giving them the one, or are you gonna do it, do it any more? I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one. Okay. Because, you know, there we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay, nice. He so, yeah, you heal up six. Attack. Yes. <laughs> all right, Sable, and you come to. These <laughs> creatures are all still attached to you. That angry hook monster is still behind you. I, I come back like, uh, le leeches again? What? Fly up. Fly <laughs> up, girl. Yeah, I'm going to fly up 30 feet. Yeah, you need to you need to not take damage. Your concentration is very important. Yes, it is. <laughs> Can okay, I, like, nice. fly like back here. Nobody can get me up here, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you're kind of up on the ledge there. Um, okay, nice. That's the end of your turn. Yes. All right, John, it's to you. Blow these fuckers up. Okay. Let me see if I have that option. I don't think I have any explosives on me. Except not Sablin. Don't blow don't blow Sablin up. If you could blow me up with a spell that might help. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Bellin, I think you know me. Well enough to know that I can make you glitter. 
<laughs> I, I'd like some glitter right now. This is very painful. Uh, the glitter would just make it easier for them to hurt you more. Oh. If you don't do well against it. Oh. Because you okay. would be affected by it too. And I feel like throwing out a bag of be a bean from the bag of beans is not gonna help us here either. Probably I not. Remember what this? What I'm ca honestly capable of? It's been a while. Can you summon some elks? Um, I in fact can do that once. Yes. I mean, summoning some extra meat shields is uh, never a bad idea. Uh. Huh? Okay. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so... Do that too. He's not here. Colin, that's D eight. <laughs> Aren't you throwing one. out a throwing out a thing from your bag of tricks? Oh, yeah, not good, not good, guys. We got a rat <laughs> or rough equivalent. It's oh, something. <laughs> it's better than it's nothing. It's something very small. All right, let's see. So we got your bag of tricks. Maybe the help action will help. I don't know. It is a weasel. Oh, yeah, boys. We got a weasel. Here, let me... I can throw it out here for you. God damn it. I was hoping for elks. Yeah. No DMs rolling good tonight. That means we're all screwed. <laughs> <laughs> where do you... Where did you throw the weasel? <laughs> um... I'm going to say, like, right up in that what is the empty space between all of the things that aren't Sabellin up there. Okay, up here. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just keep in mind that is in the moonbeam. Uh, then one space to the left, but that's really hard to put it there. Like here? Well, technically, all of the things on Sabellin are occupying his space, so one space down, but you get the idea. Cool, yeah. Because yeah. cool. you know what I mean? They're all, I believe, because they're like leeches attached to him, don't they occupy the same space? I mean, I, I, I don't think technically they do. Like, rules is written, but. I thought attached creatures do, but I, I don't know. Um, That was my action, and then a bonus. If it comes action. up, will. I don't think it'll cause an issue. <laughs> I don't think I can attack as a bonus action. Because that requires attacking as an action. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I can do is go, Sabellin, you're not looking good. Here you go, buddy. Why aren't you? Oh, there it goes. Oh, thanks. All right. So you get Only count six. the first one because I didn't yeah. need to hit the button twice. So you get six more hit points. Or a third time, apparently. <laughs> and then the weasel can act on your turn. Uh, the weasel will take a bite at the weakest looking one of the motherfuckers. Okay, which is the one that it's right next to. Or you know what? Actually, it'll give the help action. Just whichever yeah, one go. Sabellin is going to attack first, kind of thing. Because it's too hard to track. You know what I mean? Different ones in there. We'll just say whichever one Sabellin is going to yep. attack, he'll get an eight on. That works for me. So it's just helping, trying to, it's trying to, like, yeah. distract these uh, it's little It's trying to creatures. help, like, it's biting on one of them and pulling it off so he can, you know, whack yeah. it off. Easy. Well, actually, technically, it could take an action to remove one of them. I don't think it has the strength capacity to get back through. <laughs> I mean, it can okay. try. It can certainly try. I think it has better action, help. it has better chance helping him do it. Are you my mother's joining us? Hi, Ryan. Awesome. Hi, Ryan's Bob. Um, Hi, Mom. Okay, can, can we have her play a character? Would you like to be the <laughs> rat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the weasel is distracting these little leech creatures that are attached to uh, to Sablin. Uh, John, oh, and then also I group. moved up the wall 30 feet with my boots. Sorry. Okay, and you went up, so you're up on the wall now. Yeah. Great. Not very many people are even wearing the masks. Has a well, because why would they? They don't have okay. to. Um, it's all up to you. Or, or they can hear us. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> no worries. G knows it's all on your shoulders. All right, you're so. What in this party? 
That's the end of your turn, John? Indubitably. All right. So. Everybody say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Mom. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Mom is going to be playing the rat, okay? Okay, yeah. great. I hope you I hope you live long. You only got one HP. <laughs> All right, so uh this creature, um the hungry with its large gaping maw, uh was running up towards John, but after seeing him jump run up the wall is going to redirect and move over towards Artemis. Oh no! I'm fragile. I feel bad, but I'm not getting hurt, so I don't. All right, he's gonna take a bite at you, and then uh, swipe with his claws. Just, 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 just hold on here. I will cast shield. I can do that once per day. I think. Okay. Do I have that. Yeah, I do. That. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I got once per day shield. Okay, nice. Um, so then, does a 19, does that block the 19? Uh, yeah, that gives me okay. an AC 20. Nice, so yeah, your sh magical shield comes up and blocks his attacks. It just lets out this roar in that mouth. Uh, is like larger than your head uh, and just right in front of you. And it's your turn. Sorry. Okay. Uh Saw what Nova did. That was pretty cool. Uh, I will attempt to do the same thing. Okay. I, too, will cast Banish, targeting the hungry and the angry. Okay, nice. Let's see. Here we go, the angry. Ooh. You've got to, you've got to be shitting uh -oh. me. Okay. And the hungry. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the hungry poof disappears, and okay, uh, I, I guess your wall of fl flame is also gone now. Yeah. Uh, and I will scramble up the uh, rest of this tree. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's right. You were like right at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. So you scramble up the tree. You're up at the top now. Athletic check. No, he, he did that. Succeeded time. on it last I... time. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't here for that. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Same team. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm about to become a DM again. It's just coming out. Fair. All right. Kevu. You uh, see the scene before you is Sablin is just surrounded by. Um, these little, little leech creatures that are attached to him. Okay. Um, there is also like this big angry monster uh, that's near him that is currently being targeted by your moonbeam. Okay. Um, and all the other creatures have been poofed out of existence for now. Awesome. Okay. So One big creature left. That's it? Yep, that's all. It's all these guys just surrounding Sabalin. Yes. And that's it right now. Until they um, come back. and his health isn't looking too good. Not too no. good. How much damage was the, were these things doing? Was it a lot? The little things they were doing it. Uh, it was it was. Ellen was really little. About, like unconscious a second ago. So the, the largest problem with the little ones is the fact that because they're attached to me, they don't need to roll to hit me on their turn. They just automatically hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have the spell healing spirit. I also have I have my um, so I have a uh, ability for a class ability. Uh, if you use the class ability, you can also use a spell because I believe the class ability. Wait, what class ability? Um, it is a bonus it's like the bomb of the summator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bomb and court thing. How many can I use? I I don't have my sheet in front of me, so I can't really see. I just yeah, let's see. It. The, the biggest problem for me right now is uh, I need to be able to survive the wretched's next turn so I can do things. Because with my health and how many of them are attached to me and how they don't need to roll to hit me, I think the four of them will get me down again on their turn. You, you've got you've got nine dice. You could spend up to four of them, it looks uh, like. It says you have... Well, Ron, your sheet, it says you have seven. 
dice and you have four left. But you should yeah, you be should, a higher level. You should have that. nine. So you yeah, should... I might be my the sheet just might be wrong. It might not be updated. I, okay. I honestly haven't been very good at this character's uh, I, I, sheet. Very I much, assume but... he used up three then, so you have six. Okay. Bombs. Well, I got four. Um. So if I used it on him, do you think it'd be enough HP to warrant doing that? So it would actually keep if, him up if around. If you roll well, theoretically yes. If you roll for shit, absolutely not. And it's a bonus action to do that, right? Yes, but here's a general rule of thumb. Healing is best used reactively, not proactively. Yeah, but... Because the thing is... It could help, I don't know. Uh... Generally, no matter how many d6 you're rolling, at 46 you're doing 24. But five creatures against him are going to do 30 plus. So no matter how... But you're better off using those d6 to get him back from zero than you are to try and bring him up to a point where damage won't affect him. Okay, then I won't, then I won't do that. Is there anyone else that's low? Is there anyone else unconscious? Uh, clo Ooh. other one low is, um, what, Nova. Nova. Nova? Okay, is she die? Is she, like, unconscious? Or no, not? she's, no, she's I'm at one safe right now. She's she, like, HP, flew up. She's all air, and nothing here has ranged attacks, as far as we know. Nothing in okay. existence at the moment. Am I in danger at all? No, no, you're good. Everything, everyone is around yeah. Sableen right now. I think, like, okay, he, so. Hey, you have honestly, blight on your sheet. Is blight gonna do anything? Can you I just throw this good? out there? Move What's up? The moonbeam down on top of Sabellin. I, I was thinking take, that too. I'll take half damage from it, and if that manages to kill the wretched before their damage goes off, that might actually work. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm moving. I'm moving the moonbeam. Is that a bonus action? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm. I'm moving the moonbeam. All right, and and you can get. Well, yeah, I'll say because they're all attached, we can say that all of them will be within the moonbeam. You can like center it on Sablin. It doesn't really fit in the grid, but we'll say that that's the case. Hold okay. All and you can move it outside the grid when you lock it down. I, I just hold my arms up to where they're straight above me to make a tire circle. <laughs> Yeah, You're no. becoming holy. <laughs> it's the it's the weird thing is yeah if you hold alt when you release the token it actually okay. unlocks it from the grid. Kevu, so you moved the moonbeam with your bonus action. Okay. What do you want to do with your action? your action? Uh, I'm gonna call him gay. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You have uh, blight. You have blight on your sheet. Is that gonna do? Blight is that a? Uh, it's um, a, is that an action? One creature, one action. Yeah. It's really overkill, though. Unless you're I'm, the angry. I, yeah, the angry. I'm gonna go for the angry. Saying. Yeah, I'm gonna blight the angry. Okay. Nice. Let's so do you it. cast blight on the angry. Will you post that in the chat? Uh, Ooh. Susan, awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, so it has to make a constitution save. Or take half as much. Wait. Okay, nice. And you did 30. Okay, so yeah. let me make a con save for this guy. Give a charger. Give a charger. Your DC is only 14. Uh, it's your purse. No, it's in my bag, but I can get it to you. Uh, I'm at 6%. I'll just call my dad. My it's in a side pocket. I know, how's this DC on these? Oh, oh, okay. Am I winning? Um, no. All right, so he succeeds on the <laughs> on the save, so he'll take half half as much damage. It's better Shoot. than nothing. It's something. All right, so you cast the spell, but um, he's able to kind of shrug it off, it seems. Okay. Um... And Shoot, now you it. might just be a tasty target to him, standing up right there on the ground in front of him. Nah, the weasel's right there, dude. Wait, no still apple. move. No, the weasel is kind of actually on top of Sabellin, too, and yeah. might die at the start of its turn. <laughs> he still got some movement to use. He could run, like, up the branch with Harvinus. Could he do that? Yeah, he could try. Um, He's going to have to make a uh, athletics check. Oh, it's it's, not, that's it's not. Drops. Yeah, it's it. But he could get like partway up. 
Or not. Or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So he runs over to the log, but is unable to climb up it. Um, okay. So. Yeah, the moment. That's the end of Kevu's turn. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this angry creature um, does after that spell is cast on him um, he looks over at Kevu no. and oh, no. he's feeling pissed <laughs> so he oh. has advantage on these attack rolls since he did damage to him oh, shit. What the and fuck? if he hit he's attacking me yes. yeah he's coming at you <laughs> shit. so here he goes he swings his hooks one, ah. two. Oh fuck! Oh, it looks like they both oh, hit. They do. Oh, yeah, they, oh, they do so much extra damage. Uh, the first one does that extra. Damage. Oh. Oh fuck. Um. Okay. So. Seventeen, eleven, and then another three d twelve psychic damage. Maybe the three one seven. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, yeah, not bad, oh, not bad. Nice. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's lucky, yeah. Uh, so oh, nice. So twenty-eight, thirty-five. 35 yeah. Only thirty-five. Only thirty-five damage. You got. Just kidding. No, you're still yellow. You're good. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. 36. So. <laughs> back to. Kevu, uh, he uh, screams like a girl, like really loud. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hate to be this good, but concentration check. Oh yeah, concentration check on the um. Let's just say I pass. On the moonbeam. <laughs> Do I get any inspiration? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's uh, technically pray. two. Pray. Yeah. We're good. We're good in the yeah. moonbeam, guys. One First more. One, you're good. Second one, you got to go for another ten. Wait, second one. Because it's two yeah. different uh, damage twice. sources. Nope. Oh. I do. <laughs> nope. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, because he hit you twice. Gotcha. Fuck. Damn. So the moonbeam is gone. Fuck. No. Did it do damage at all to the, the things? No. No, it was about to. Fuck me. So at the start of their turn, <laughs> each of these does one d10 plus one damage. So I'm just gonna roll them all together. Four d10. That that could potentially be under twelve. Plus. Four. I could totally be under twelve. That was not, not under twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all just so, is, continuing to so wait, each eight, on you. And then three means you're still up. The third one kills you. The fourth one puts you with a death save. Because that's the important factor: is where these come into play, like where you got knocked unconscious. Can you just? Oh damn! Here you go. You're right. So he has. You have one death save as well. The save or just a shit of failure. One death failure. You have one failure already. Gotcha. So if you're rolling that one right now, you're fucked. (laughs) All right, right. Abelin, you're unconscious. Can can I spend inspiration to give him advantage? Yeah, totally. Okay, there. Don't no, fuck this up. We're not doing this again. <laughs> yeah, only way, the only I way... Lie, I'm a lane change. <laughs> the only way this it's goes well right if it's 1-1. One, one. We're not going to the double the shadow shot, fell, okay? <laughs> okay if, die, if you die yeah, if you die in the shadow fell, do you, do you, do you, do you no, die in real life? If you die in the shadow... Yeah, you die in real life. No, if you die in the shadow fell, you go to the shadow realm, and that's where all those people from Yu-Gi-Oh are, and you don't want to go Oh, shit. Okay, let me, let me roll the let me roll the second you, one with you advantage. advantage. So roll oh it, yeah, yeah, roll yeah, yeah. Damn. Okay. I'll take okay. the first one. Okay. Yeah, take that first one for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, nice. The uh, death save button on the character sheet now like logs the success and failures automatically. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So unmarked the failure. Fancy. Oh yeah, yeah. I just noticed I had two for some reason. Like, oh. Yeah, you have one success, one fail. All right, nice. Nova, your turn as you're flying above. You see that angry creature is going after Kevu. Um, these leeches continue to hurt Sabalin. What are you going to do? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 Sabalin. Well, I'm going to get Sabalin out of obviously. Uh, let's do uh, more kitten kisses. 
I'll take ten. Or not 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 the, not the taxi, but would it be better to like like just do an AOE spell to try and kill all of them? I take one failure. See, the problem is uh, that's that's I can do that. Because that's, 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 that is a bonus action. Oh, yeah. nice. Perfect. Ah, so yeah. heal EV and you're good. Yeah. Try and at least get one or two of them off them. All right. Also, I always forget when you come back, do you lose the death failures or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It all resets. Beautiful. It all resets. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. The successes stay, though. Those stay for sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh. My is Elmash there, armor got me cocky. Are any of those wretched look uh, worse off than the other one? Like, is, have they been damaged? Um, yeah, the, uh, the oh, pink, let me change this color this so they're all different. The pink one, yeah, the pink one is the most yes. hurt. I'll hit that one first. Bacon Kitty Nightmare Blast! Ooh. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, that button. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, you don't quite kill it. I want to kill at least one of them. Wait, can I hit the, the same ones with uh, Eldritch Blast, or does it have to be separate creatures? No. Yeah, yeah, you get, yeah. Eldritch Blast can you okay. can target however you want. It's not like a fucking twin spell. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can go after yeah, the yeah. same. Okay. Again. Woo. Nice. Same one. <laughs> Five. All right. You did it. That's something. That's something. <laughs> you shoot that one, and the same one's got one less leech attached to him. That is something. <laughs> I start <laughs> rotating my shield. I'm like, oh, it's so much lighter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, nice. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, so, John, it's to you. You got this big angry one attacking Kevu. Action, bonus action. Oh, damn. Okay. But they're nice. actually magic cards. It's just magic cards and magic daggers actually have the same stat line. All right. Cool. Are um, any of those sneak attacks? Uh, actually, yes. The Who are you attacking? Would be, um, the wretched's attached to Sabellan. Okay. Nice. Uh, the first one would be. So let me roll sneak attack. Which fuck? Level nine is how much? Five. It's been I a know. while, man. I think it's five. One. Let's see. One, three, five, seven, nine. Yeah, five. Coolie, coolie. Let's see how we do. Nope. Rolling five. D six. <laughs> I hey hey hey. I, I did what you asked. You said five. Sorry, I thought it was clear. <laughs> I just happened to hit the wrong button. Okay, nice. So the first one, which who who are you hitting? Oh, wretched. I'm going for the wretched. Okay, uh, nice. So we'll just say the one. I stole my die, you. by the way. Okay, no worries, Ryan. Um, okay, so you hit the one closest to you and take it out with that first hit. The and then second I'm one. For a second one attached to him. It's pepper. another one. Yeah. And twelve is just enough to take out that one. So you take out two on that turn. And then I just look at Kevin and go, Don't worry, buddy, I got you next. One at a time, one at a time. And just that yeah, that's all I got. Goodbye. Um, and you've noticed this uh this angry um creature is like calming down a little bit. You see that anger that it had? It seems like when you guys attack it, it provokes it and it gets more angry and it hurts more whereas if you don't attack it it seems to like lose its lose its fighting spirit a little bit um okay artemis see you uh, uh so ignore an alpha shoot the strike last wretched. got it uh, Twelve. Twelve. Um, 12 does kill it yep okay um, yeah, I can move. Then, I, I can fight. <laughs> <laughs> so Sable and finally all those leeches are off of you. Uh, nobody shot the angry. I will not shoot the angry and just fire my last. Yeah, actually, I'll point at the angry. And like seeing Nova doing her shit, like Artemis 
thinks for a second, and then he's like, Nightmare Serpent Blast! <laughs> 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 you made up your own spells, oh my god, I'm so proud. <laughs> then I All will right. back up one, two, three, Hold on, three, is my four, Eldritch five, Blast six. damage wrong? Should it have a plus? It should be a d10. Uh, or do you have uh, Agonizing Blast? Uh, it's one of the agonizing blast. invocations you can use to add charisma to yeah, I, I Eldritch know. Blast. Where the fuck is my fucking invocations? I feel like I have it. Why is it not? Why, where the fuck's my invocation? I don't know why I clicked on your character sheet. I do have clicked it. On your... I do have it. See so your sheet. Then yeah, you need to be adding your charisma modifier to your damage. Oh yeah, there's no charisma modifiers to those at all for some reason. Oh. Well, because by default it doesn't add it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, normally Eldritch Blast is just a D10. Oof. Well, um, that's a plus five to all those. But I guess they're dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> if you could write that down, add that to your fucking sheet. I'd appreciate it. That'd be great. That's that's me though. <laughs> Yeah. yeah okay. So Artemis, that's the end of your turn. Yes. All right. I think did we just lose Ryan? He ran out of battery. There you yeah. go. I fixed it. Nice. Um. So much damage you're missing out. <laughs> well, now you got it. It's you got it now. Yeah. Uh. So the the angry is like staring Kevu down. Um, but it's kind of like huffing and puffing. And as it, as no one's attacked it since, since it last went, it's kind of like losing steam a little bit. Um, as it's facing down against Kevu. Um, let's see. Oh, it's Kevu's turn. Yeah, it's Kevu's turn. That's me. That's me. Uh, what do we got here? Yes. Um, mm, mm, mm. Max, calm down. Uh, I don't... Oh, wait. Hold person. Mm, when, I don't think it's a humanoid, actually. I don't know. Yeah, he assumes it's probably not. That's not, that's not a humanoid. No. Uh, he has a lot of utility. Uh, and Moonbeam. I don't know what else he's, he could do. Uh, how about the charm person? <laughs> no, well, it's not a humanoid. Like <laughs> it's it. not a humanoid. He's <laughs> <laughs> good against humans. He's good with humans. Uh, yes. Um, you just cast Moonbeam again. So what do you got? Or, 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 or. Poison spray. Hey, look at that. I like that. That's something. So he, um, again, just to reiterate, like, this creature seems to be real angered when damage is done to it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like gets extra strong and hurts mm -hmm, and hits extra mm -hmm, hard mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. now he seems a little like a little down a little bit like purposeless as nobody's attacked him actually, um actually how about a, how about a nice fairy fire you know oh you, okay you, you need some color on you so okay you so a fairy fire <laughs> nice <laughs> How about a nice, uh, uh, purple, like a lavender, yes. <laughs> you need some lavender. Oh, but oh, a no. critical success is it. <laughs> oh my god. It, it's, it's, purple's not my color. <laughs> okay, god. no lavender, no lavender. It's one of these fucking nice, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a lavender kind of guy. Yeah, I've got so many crits, it's crazy. God damn it. <laughs> not looking more of a lavender kind of guy. Oh shit! Oh, well, I can't. Move. All right, so that was his move now, action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't uh, can't move now. Uh. Yeah. Wait, how much did he heal earlier? Uh, for bombs. 
He should have. I think uh, he decided to not do the bombs. Because... Yeah, he didn't use oh, yeah, it, yeah, so yeah, he yeah, still okay. has. He still has all. He should have like six, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How about uh, you could use some healing on Sable? You know, why not? How much can he use? All right. Uh, up to level. You can do up to four. Up to four. Okay. To half his level. And they are. D6s. How much longer can Nova be in the air? Like a, I don't know, a while. It's a minute, I it's think. It's a minute, yeah. Okay. It's a so while. I'd say probably like five more rounds at least. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. We've done maybe four or five rounds. Let's do... Uh, there you go. That's uh, for Sablin. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Alright, so Sablin, you heal up nine hit points. And I'm just going to stand right here, right in front of this uh, beautiful gentleman. Okay. All right, so the angry then on its turn. Um, let's see. Let me just double check. I think it has disadvantage if no creature is dealt damage. Yeah, so it has disadvantage on these attacks against Kevu. Sixteen and a fifteen. Yeah, those still hit. He has like a ten. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, well at least it didn't get the crit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, 17, uh, 27 damage, yeah. We're good. What did you do to make RNGesus happy with you? I don't know, man. <laughs> 10 AC, 14 DC? Uh, <laughs> what is going on in the sheet? I'm not looking too good, guys. That's nah, looking fine. Maybe you should just yeah, Kebu is not a mid-match have... character. <laughs> <laughs> we only have... Guys, just remember this. We only have four enemies currently not on the battlefield. Or three. three. Just know. three. Sorry, sorry. Three, three enemies, enemies not on the battlefield. <laughs> to return to the battlefield at some point in the near future. <laughs> two of them are pretty... Two of those ones are pretty fucked up, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... So we're starting a, ne a new round. I'm going to say... Five more rounds, including well, no, you guys did that just yeah, this like turn. just like a yeah, you no, still have like two like for the banishment. It's been two, so yeah, okay, eight. you're right. We'll say eight more rounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, but still, like, it's it's the realization that we're not done with this in any way, shape, or form yet. No. no. All right. So the angry. Uh, continues to face down Kevu, gives him some, gives him some uninspired swipes, but nonetheless, hey, at least he didn't do the extra damage because that probably would have taken Kevu out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fuck. So Sabellin, you're finally up and able to act. Now right, I'm gonna <laughs> alpha strike this bitch. All right, so I'm gonna, who, mm, I'm torn between healing up or yeah, just trying to see if we can burn this thing down before its next turn. Because we, we all down. have, because we all have turns before it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We burn this bitch down. We could try to burn the bitch down. Oh no, down. we burn this bitch down. Do yes. it. You know what? Yeah, let's burn let's it. go for it. Yeah, I'm burn gonna run up it behind it, and I am going to yeah first attack, and I'm gonna go ahead and smite on it. Actually, no. Let me. Let me check yeah, you only smite if you hit. So. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And you uh, really only should smite if you crit, but that, that that's you know. true. That's true. I'm trying to you, see. Follow your heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You I've know got... when it's right. Follow your heart. I'm gonna double check hex curse and see. D double check something on its wording. Do 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 do. Double curse on the button. I might Don't save the for. Your hex blade. I forget that. Yeah. So I might save the hex blade curse for when they start coming back, because we'll be fighting them in twos. So that might be more valuable there. So yeah, I think we're just gonna hold on to the Hexblade curse for now. And go ahead. Oh, the curse until the target dies, you Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'll just I'll just I'll just attack. Attack one, twenty-five. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit. Alright. For sixteen. That was the noise the creature made. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. And All right. An attack, an attack two. 21. 21 also hits. And that's going to be for 17, and yeah, so 17, yeah, and, God, so, and for my bonus action, I'm actually going to 
like think about the sun, think about more beautiful places than this. I'm gonna use the blessing of Sune. I'll grab Ooh. the text for that because it's been a forever since I used it. But back back when I was just putting raw text into my character sheet instead of buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me post the text for this real quick once I find this sucker. There we go. Boom, so 2D6 temps, plus my con. All right, nice. Perfect, 12, 12 temps for me. Yeah, I'm going to call right, it, cool. hey, ugly, over here. Ugh, it turns towards you, uh, furious, slobbering. It, it's two heads, uh, both focused on you. Um, this creature is hardy. But you guys have done a significant amount of damage to it. It still seems like it's going to take a, take a good good amount more to take it out for good. But uh, but you've heard it. All right, Nova. All right, I guess uh, let's try blasting this thing, and uh, maybe we need to get the fuck out of here. Oof. Oof. Oh, those hit. Those are both going to miss as they just fly wide. I'm, uh, I'm really feeling the uh, gaping hole in my uh, stomach. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to throw myself uh, some kitten kisses, you know, just for good measure. I don't know. Just, just one little kid. Like, yeah, the, you know. Oh, no. One little, one, one, one little kid. I kitten. need them. Tiny little kitten kiss. It's making me feel it better almost emotionally. almost nibbled on you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that the end like, of your turn? I'll move like over here, you know? Okay, cool. <laughs> Closer to the portal back to the material plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, John. It's your turn. I'm gonna have my weasel give me advantage. And throw some magical playing cards. Okay, the weasel goes up to helps oh, the I first didn't mean one. To throw a third one. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in some five d six for the first one. Okay, nice. You can throw definitely three. Have to... No, I'm on an iPad. You clicked, so... Oh, you clicked it too much. Got it. Yeah, the button kind of is overactive. Right, so that's uh, eight. The plus first six. one got twenty-three, and then six. Right. Yep. It's one and nine. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, you I throw your playing cards at it and slice into it. It gives another angry roar. I can't swish. <laughs> um, okay, what lower level spell to do, are you John? guaranteeing, or are you trying to actually do a wish? Oh, uh, that's it. I'm um, good. All right, then it is to you, Artemis. Three, four. Okay. Yeah, I'll move there. Uh, Artemis will point down at the thing. Consider for a second. Uh, pancake, piggy, chaos blast. <laughs> 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 Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> 13 right. and 9. Nice, both of those hits. So that's a total of 22. All right. Uh, that's... That's me. And I... Or no, hold on, I'll back up, to, back up two scores. And that's me. Okay. All right, Kevu. Um, oh, I came in just in time for my yeah, turn. Yeah, last turn, this guy attacked you. Okay. Almost took you out. You're looking looking bad. He's turned around now, and his attention's on Sabolin. Has he used a reaction at all? He is not. Okay. Good to know. Um. Well, then. I'm going to use my roguish action to disengage. Just kidding. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, is he the only one left? There are three, three of them more are banished. banished. Oh, 
Oh! And will reappear uh, in That the... is where we're at, okay? We're almost all dead, and three of them are banished. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's not too bad, because you guys don't even have to worry about that, right? Because you don't have to do constant, or, like, any checks to keep them Yeah, they do. Right? Should oh. they get hurt, they do con save. Well, con save yeah, if you get hurt. But but but, yeah, but, but there's only one guy here, so that you, <laughs> yeah, we're not. They're not okay. We're pretty much guaranteed on that, so we're good. Uh, only problem is like uh, they, they, we are in their plane, so the whole like you know ooh. banish sent by your natural plane doesn't really help us here. Hmm. So when they come back, they'll come back here. Unfortunately. So I could face step me and one other. I don't know if you want to leave. I mean, we could do a tactical trade, but it'd be nice to get one of these guys down before we do that. So I have faced that. Uh, if you guys want to use that, Sablin, what? How are you feeling? Do you want to? Do you want to get out of there, or you want to stay there? With how much li- with how much time we have on the bandages, I think we could take this guy out. But I think okay. you at least need to get out of its range. All right. Then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my bonus action to face step. I'm going to teleport uh, to an unoccupied space within 30 feet. Blah 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 blah. Um. Oh. Uh. I can touch one willing creature five feet from me. The creature can teleport instantly, instead of you. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I can only do me or one other. Cool. Then it just be me. I'm gonna teleport. You think I should go up there? I think our way yeah. back is. Uh, well, but I guess we could get away back to the portal through there, can we? Or we do we have to go back? Yeah. To the I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if he teleports this way, the thing can just chase him. So, come up here where it can. All right, fuck it. That's what I'll we'll do. All right, cool. So you teleport up there. Um, are you... Is that your action? Uh, that was my bonus action. Okay, cool. Um, uh, the child is screaming. <laughs> uh, I already used my blight. I can't use that. It's not really worth it. Uh, I could moonbeam again. Uh, I could charm him. He looks charmable, right? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> what about a uh, whole person? Is he a person? He's not a person. Not a human. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Oh, ooh, I know. I will use Thorn Whip. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to grab him and move him a little bit away from Sable in here. Okay. Nice. So, uh, melee spell attack. So roll me a, what's your, what's your spell attack bonus? Uh, is it a DC save or no? No, you no, have to make, make a melee spell attack. I don't know oh. why it has a DC. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why it even... It kind of, like, came up weird. Here, let me see if I have it. Oh, here, I have it here. There we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, 15 does not hit. Is the weasel still helping? No, cause I'm pretty sure the help Helped just... me. It's just ah, one gotcha. action, one attack, yeah. Yeah, help me on my turn. Okay, well, that's my so, turn. So, yeah, the Thorn Whip just kind of slaps up against it, but does not... I just smack its ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a rolled-up towel in a locker room. <laughs> giant butt cheeks just clinch up. like, <laughs> It just kind of jiggle. I'm like, Whoop. Okay, we're out. Well, okay, that's good. Yep. Okay, so um, on, the ang- on, on its turn, the Angry Now focuses in on Sablin. Um... So let's see. Because he's been attacked, he's going to get advantage. Uh, as long as none of these are crits, I should attack be Attack okay. rolls. So he rolls two attacks. Oh my gosh. Um, so the first one misses. The Does second one, hit? I'm going to go ahead. 21 would normally hit, but I'm shielding this because I don't trust this thing. Okay. Put a shield up and block it. Nice. All right. So you you block its attack. It yells out. It roars in frustration, um, and that's back to you, Sablin. Okay how is his, how is this guy looking? He's looking rough. He's looking. Um, you guys have taken a lot out of him. He's 
he's a tough big boy. Um, so he can he can take a bit more abuse, but he's 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 getting there. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna just yell out, "We've almost got him! Come on!" And I'm gonna do a couple more swings. Actually, I'm gonna maneuver to be on the opposite side of the weasel. Okay, nice. Get that flank. That's smart. Yeah, flank, flank with flank weasel. Flank Flanking with, weasel. with the weasel. The weasel is like annoyingly nipping at his heels, and he's kind of trying to kick him away a little bit. All right, twenty-two. Yep, twenty-two hits for fourteen, and okay. second attack. Does a sixteen hit, or would it be eighteen with a weasel? I assume. Eighteen with the weasel does just hit. Let's see here, and uh, the weasel, yeah. yeah! <laughs> for yeah, thirteen, no twelve. My math's bad. But no, that's thirteen. Ooh, my math's really bad. Yep, yep, thirteen. Nice. <laughs> okay, nice. You get two good hits with the long sword. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just real, really in it. Just kind of bounce away. We, we've almost got him. But in my turn. All right, nice. Um, okay, Nova, you see Sablin dancing around this guy, cutting into him with his long sword. Yes, let's go for. Hopefully, I don't miss this time. Bacon Kitty Nightmare Blast. Woo! Okay, both Much of those better. are gonna hit. What's you better? You're rolling proper damage, damage this time. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. Much better. All right, you blast into this guy's back. Oh, he gives out angry screams. He's looking pretty rough now. Come on, guys. We can do this. All right, is that is that it for you? All right, John, your turn. Okay. Just me and the angry in the group left. So let's see. Your weasel's helping you again? Uh, yes. I'm pulling my sheet back up. I'm back on my computer now. Um. Okay. Okay, so here. Let's add this here real quick. And... We are gonna just. Oh, Ooh, nice! Damn. Yeah, first one got the crit on the sneak. Nice. Yeah. That's nine. Yeah. So those both hit. Um, no, the second one rolled almost just as good. On yeah, sneak. for real. So that's thirty-two plus nine is forty-one plus five is. Uh, 46. 46 damage total. Jesus. Oof. Jesus fuck. All right. Yeah, so you throw some playing cards. Dealer. Yeah, the first one, actually, one of its heads, you, like, slit the throat of one of its heads, and it and it's, like, bleeding out, and that one head is, like, one of the hooks is trying to hold the, bl hold the blood in, um, and that head is kind of, like, like, flopping down limply. Uh, this guy's barely standing up. He's raging, roaring. Looks like he's getting ready to try to hit Sable in again in his anger. Uh, Artemis, it's, up. it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> Step up. Eldritch Blast. Boom. Boom. No! Oh. Um. Uh. Do you yeah, have luck? I'm going <laughs> to use Dark. I'm going to use Dark One's own luck to roll a d10 and add it to that last one. That second one. Okay. It's gonna be one of these. God damn it. Oh no. Back it up. That's me. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to go down. You come up and you just miss wide with two of your eldritch blasts. You're you're sweating, you're too nervous. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Kevin, it's your turn. Uh I'm uh Drop it like it's hot. Just kidding. I'm going to use uh, Thorn Whip again, I guess. I don't fucking know. Okay. <laughs> so let me run upstairs real quick. Press the button. I can roll it for you. No, I'm I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. it. Tal Whip his butt so hard he dies. 18 hits. Woo! Uh, what? Oh, wrong 2d6. Four. Four. 
Okay, four damage. You do not quite... Oh, it's 2d6? Take him out. Yeah, it rolled 2d6. <laughs> yeah, it rolled 2d6. Uh, okay. Yeah, it did. Um, it moves ten feet closer to you, so you kind of slam him up against the wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then as a bonus action, I'ma kill him. Just kidding. I'm going to wild shape into something. I don't know. Can I wild shape into something? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just use balm. Uh, no, let's wild shape. Fuck it. What am I wild? Uh, what what kind of options do I got? Do that as a bonus, or? Oh, maybe they can. That's true. Yeah. Uh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Then I'm gonna use balm. Blah 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 blah. Who should I heal? No. Uh, I mean, you're kind of bleeding from your neck. I'm way up here. Yeah, you I'm are doing good. Badly. Yeah, I'm up here too. Maybe I shouldn't heal that one. You know what? I'm that's good. I'm just gonna end my turn. I'm okay. Fine. Yeah, you may need um, it here in a second when Sablin gets hooked. Yeah. So don't yeah, worry. Good, 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 as long as I don't get crit again, I'll be fine. <laughs> Staring at the rolls. Is continues to be furious. Uh looks over towards Sablin and swings its hooks at Sablin. Uh, twenty. So the eighteen, I think, misses, right? Eighteen does miss. Okay, but twenty six will hit. Even with, even if I had shield up, twenty six would hit. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so eleven piercing damage, and then you also take some psychic damage. Oof. Okay. A total of thirty three damage. Going through all my attempts, I am down again. Oh. Before so, before I fall over, I just think this feels weirdly nostalgic. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just pummels Sablin once again into the ground. Sablin loses consciousness. Sablin, make me a death save. Alrighty. And even I think okay, even ten does succeed. Okay. Success. <laughs> nice. Um. All right, uh, Nova. It's your turn. Dang it, Sable! Guy's <laughs> no! Sable's down. Uh, Creature's gonna... ready to pummel and kill him. I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna heal Sable and... <laughs> These kittens are... Uh, oh my god. Right now. <laughs> They're scared little kittens. <laughs> and hopefully I can... <laughs> These other kittens... <laughs> making kitty nightmare blasts! Come on! <laughs> Woo! Oh, there no. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally crit on our side. All right. That's kind of shit damage, whatever. <laughs> so describe to me how you kill this creature with your bacon. Oh, nice. All, all these little, uh, like, cats go, like, on him and just start eating his whole body alive. <laughs> they just start <laughs> dying him. They just, like, bore into him. And and it's you like see a pool of, of bacon and grease and monster on the floor. Just gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. Nice. So the, this creature falls down to the ground, uh, dead. You see as its um, essence just kind of like seeps into the ground as it like melts away, um, defeated. You guys have about thirty seconds now until everybody your spell run. Ends. <laughs> Let's just all just run the fuck out of here. F f fall back, uh, regroup. I don't know. I think we're doing okay. Fuck if we you, just run! Position, get into a bed, <laughs> no, no, let's a just run. Position. No, let's just run. No, let's just run. And just come back. <laughs> I, I'm normally in the camp of sticking it out, but I can't see straight right now. Neither can I. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think we should go. Only three of us are in the red, guys. Come on. And there's three more <laughs> monsters about to show up in 30 seconds. Let's yeah, get out of here. it's fine. It's fine. Wouldn't we probably be better off fighting those three monsters on our plane, though? If they even decided to come to it. And from that's why we're leaving this... this plane right now. From <sighs> As far as I know, they'll still be strong if they're near the portal. If we draw them away from the portal, we might have a better shot. We can camp out. Um... Next to the portal. I have a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, uh, when wait for them to come get us outside. <laughs> well, I have a thing that makes us 
like not twenty seconds. Running. Oh, let's, okay. let's go. Babies. All right. Yeah. yeah so you guys right. take off. You guys take off. Um, outside, out, back, out of the portal. You run out of this canyon. Um, through the portal, you're back in the Crypt Garden Forest. Actually, hang on. As we get out of the canyon, can I drop my my spell? Uh-huh. Can, uh huh. Can I drop banishment and cast Busby back into that canyon and then keep running? <laughs> okay. Can we just watch Busby do whatever he wants to do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> while we're gone? <laughs> oh, Buck Bumble's back, baby! <laughs> yeah, definitely. You definitely can do that. Yeah, I'll do that then. I've got a spell slot, I'm using it. Okay, so you drop your... um. You drop your concentration on the spell. You cast, um, (laughs) you cast the summon greater demon. Yeah, summon greater demon, and um, and you Busby appears, and you see Busby immediately start fighting with uh, that creature with the kind of gaping maw. Um, As you guys rush back out, the other two. as Nova's spell ends, the other two appear um, and immediately engage uh, in battle with uh, with Busby as well. Um, but Busby seems to seems to hold his own um, as you rush out of the of the canyon and you're out back into the woods. You're at the portal, um, and Sabalin, you can kind of feel um if you remember that there's this like connection that between these creatures and the forest that is keeping this you from being able to close this portal. Um <clears throat> but as you exit, you feel that connection weakening. And you um y- you don't think you're you're going to be quite able to close it yet, but you, you feel that like their strength is waning and, and you could, you're not, you're not sure you think you could give it a try, but you're not sure if it will work. Okay. uh, Good news. I think what we're doing in there is working. It feels a lot weaker now. I, in fact, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, Stan, uh, artist, how long does, a the, the B man. Do you think how long do you think it'll last in there? Uh, I mean, Busby can hold his own. I, I bet he can last another thirty seconds or so. Okay, I hope this takes less than thirty seconds. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my sword out to it, hold it open like in front of me, and I'm gonna just try and concentrate on it and just kind of you know think of it closing. All right, you can I are help concentrating. Him with this? Is this is this, um, a, is this a thing? Warlocks can help with. Is this a warlock helping? <laughs> well, um, you. So as you are kind of seeing this happen, he uh, he pulls out his um, his sword, uh, which mm-hmm. ha- it it seems that there's some there's something in this sword that is like connecting it. It it has some connection to the shadow fell. Um, like I said, like the and, black flame, like like ever since this uh, hexblade, ever since I came back, the flame of the flame tongue is black now. I, I can see like like it could be like being drawn to the portal, maybe. Yeah, so you see the way that this this kind of manifests is Sablin's holding out his sword and concentrating on closing this portal. The the black flames are uh are growing from the sword. They start to move towards the portal. And they take the shape of giant wings and a large, like serpentine head, and they're the wings are kind of enfolding around the portal, oh. trying to force it closed. Uh, as this portal is like struggling, the the these wings of these black flames are struggling against the um, the portal. It's slowly closing. Sablin, you're concentrating, you're concentrating. Why don't you just make me a um what's your spell casting modifier? Make me a check with your spell pa- casting ability. 
Okay. Would I have proficiency on this or no? No, just make me a straight roll with your, I think it's uh, wisdom, charisma. right? Maybe or charisma. charisma. Yeah, that's right, your paladin. Did you make a pact with Dendar? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's it's my ancestor. Oh, so, okay. Okay. Um, so as you guys are as you're closing this, um, you see in the distance you can still see Busby fighting with these creatures. The portal is like starting to close, starting to close. Suddenly, Busby blinks out of existence. Um, because that's right. Josh, how that spell works, he lasts for a minute. Yeah, something like that. So, even if you like lose concentration, it's just like a minute and then he disappears, right? Yeah. So, so Busby suddenly disappears. These three creatures, actually two now, because Busby took out one of them. Uh, the other two are looking pretty rough, but they start rushing towards the portal and rushing towards you. And I, I turned my head back to the, to everyone. I was like, uh, get ready to run. I'm going to try and close it off. As you give this last surge of energy, those wings push this portal and snaps shut. The All the black flame dissipates and uh, kind of gets sucked back into your sword. And you guys are now standing in this field on a pleasant... Uh, on a pleasant summer's day, the portal is gone. All is peaceful around you. It seems that you have taken care of this issue. Holy shit, we did it. I dismiss the uh, the flames on my sword, and I just fall straight back into my back. You did I it, dude! Really, you did it! I, I can't really like go cheering. for a cupcake right now. I think a cupcake will knock you out. (laughs) You're probably right. They're very sour. Kevin's going to give Sable in a hug. Oh, hey. Yeah, I I, I go ahead and just weakly hug him back as I'm just laying laid out on the ground. (laughs) Artemis is just like dusting off his hands. Well, team, good job. Thanks to my... Excellent tactical leadership. Looks like we managed to close that portal. Save and help too. <laughs> I give, give a weak thumbs up. <laughs> Save, are you forgetting you can you can touch yourself? Ah, uh, it just it. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather rest up. I'd rather take a nap. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Looks over at Nova. Yeah, they're all children present. Probably shouldn't do that. I am you, you, an adult. You guys want to stay here? <laughs> or do you guys want to go back the, to the... The one was camp. for me. The three was for Sable. <laughs> Are you saying I'm an adult as you summon little kittens and give kisses to people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure you are. Anyway. <laughs> So do you guys want to stay here? Or you guys want to go back to the camp? Well, let's head back to the elves. <clears throat> Unless we run into a bear, I don't know if we can handle a bear right now. We can handle I a bear right now. Don't to worry. Handle a bear right now. Nova, we can ha- we can barely handle a bear. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so if you we got... run into a bear, I can summon another demon. It'll be fine. <laughs> Your solution to every problem. <laughs> Uh, so you guys... It's yet to fail. <laughs> you walk back through the woods, beaten but but not broken. You make it back to the uh, the settlement, the druidic settlement, uh, where you find um, people are kind of like whispering as you come in. They're looking at you. Uh, they see you all beat up, but they're hopeful that you, you're alive. Um... And you approach um, the the leader of the Grey Wolf tribe, Thenfall, who says, um, "Welcome back." You, he he, kind of motions towards some attendants who come up quickly um, and and hand each of you like a draught of some red looking liquid. Uh, please drink this; it'll help you uh, heal. Did you? 
succeed? We, we found where they were coming from, and we managed to kill some of them, but more importantly, we closed the portal they were coming out of. And, uh... Oh, that's that's wonderful news. Do you, are they? Will will it come back? They might, as long as the you know negativity and just the darkness that's been filling the woods continues. It'll that's that's what they were. The misery was what they were feeding up was drawing them and powering them. If it doesn't change. I'm not sure how long it will take, but I think another one will open eventually. But for now, at least, it's closed. And uh, <clears throat> you see Sandra, who was like the captain of the guard who you had spoken to, um, who comes up and uh, she says she says to uh, Fenfall, she goes, This is what I've been saying. We must take things into our own hands. We cannot allow these machines to destroy our woods. And uh, Fenfall says, I was hoping to avoid violence, but perhaps it's the only way. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Um, please, uh, rest. Stay here till you feel better. We will... Uh, do what whatever we can to assist you and in your your journey uh into the summer hills we will will then need to come back and deal with these take care of our woods, but we made a promise, and we will we will honor it well when when we get this done and we save the world, we could always come back and help you. That's true. That I want to do whatever I can to keep this from happening again. Well, let's take it one step at a time. Let's see what we can do about saving the world. Uh, saving the world, and then we can worry about saving this forest. Good idea. And uh, you hear some kind of grumbles. It seems like not all the people in this Druidic Enclave are on board with like helping you guys out, but... Um, but Fenfall has spoken, and they seem to be to respect him and be listening. Um, he says, "Please take uh, take these." And he motions to one of his uh, attendants who comes forward and um, hands you all a pack. Um, he says, uh, "We don't have much uh, in the in the form of treasure here, but we have some magical items. We have some." W- w- we specialize in in healing, so we have plenty of potions of healing. Uh, so here, please help yourselves. And they bring forward. You see, um, there is a uh, five potions of greater healing. And they give one to each of you. Um, they have a cloak that he says. Uh, this cloak is used by our scouts it can help you help you sneak um and he also they also have this amulet and he says and this is used by our mages it will uh help you cast spells when you feel uh low on energy you can prepare them ahead of time so he's given you a Actually, I think I have these t- in the guy made all things for these. Do you have any trail mix as well? I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little famished. Oh, of course. He gives you big old uh, a big old sack of trail mix. Oh yes. I, I, I turned to Artemis. See, I can haggle. <laughs> <laughs> Very so, impressive. <clears throat> You guys get an amulet of spell storing. Mm-hmm. You got five potions of greater healing. Um, and then you got this one here. 
cloak of camouflage. Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so I, I imagine the the natural choice for the camouflage cloak would be John, unless he already has a cloak he likes better. What now? Oh, the cloak of camouflage seems right up your alley. Uh, I already have a cloak of the manta, so we'll figure that out. Who else is a sneaker? Is it just me? Like, I'll hold up the cloak. Or do you think that that weird owlbear guy might like this thing? I, th I think he would. He seems to like oh, cool, he would fancy definitely, cloaks. He would definitely love that. Hmm. Is it black? Well, yeah, what? hang on. That's a good important question. The owlbear only wears black or very dark gray. Uh yeah, it's a uh, it's like not sure black. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a very dark. Well, let's see what does the picture look like. Yeah, wait, it's wait, like wait, a dark, it's dark like a mist gray. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I I I grab it like okay. Uh, it's black right now. I'm holding it in front of just kind of like the dark. Well, actually, what time of day is it? <laughs> <laughs> what time of day? It's 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 still day. It's still like uh probably around noon. Okay, so I'm holding it like in a shadow. Okay, it's black here. I'm just gonna move it closer over to like some wood. Okay, it's brown here. I'll move it over towards <laughs> the fire. Okay, it's orange and red here. <laughs> I know exactly what you're referencing. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so, um. Artemis. Um. Sandra steps up to you. Sandra is again like this kind of leader. Um you mm. spoke with her. She comes up on her crutch and she says, um you uh you wrangle these uh heroes, I suppose. That's a way of putting it, yes. You genuine about coming back here and helping us out? After you're done with your saving the world mission, look I am back at the others. Look back at them. To the assuming we're all still alive to do it, yes. She uh, looks down and uh, <clears throat> starts untying this kind of glove, this glove that she has on her hand, and she says, "Well." I'm not going to be much help. Uh, she's still she's still on a crutch from her injury. Mm -hmm. She hands you this glove. She goes, "This was passed down in my family. You take care of it, and you bring it back to me when you come to help us." Um. Okay, certainly. And she hands you uh, this glove. All right. Well, take it. Thank you. I'll make sure I take good care of it. Please do. Is it magical? When I when when we get back, I know somebody could probably help you with that. Like she's good at stuff like that. I appreciate it. My uh, I'm sure I'll be fine in no time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so she gives you the and the glove, and which is one of these, a glove of blasting. Oh. And then I started blasting. So I started blasting. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Is Danny DeVito like the picture? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it is in fact just a glove, but yes. Oh. <laughs> missed missed opportunity. So it's a once a day scorching rain. Mm-hmm. Nice. Cool. All right. Uh well, Fenfall says, um as I said, please stay as long as you must take take rest. Uh 
when you're ready, well, I will gather. Uh, I will gather the troops and will be prepared to to head out with you. Thank you. Uh, we may be the our group here may be taking a small detour over to Westbridge. Um, if that is the case, uh, you and your people should probably head towards. Uh, geez, I don't look back at the group. Uh, Vela Dancing Waters. Uh, that's that's where they meet up with the with the uh, dwarves, right? The Vale of Dancing yeah. Waters. Yes, that was an old dwarven stronghold back in the day. It is. Uh, it's also currently experiencing a little strange weather phenomenon. It's, it's probably fine. Just be very careful while you go through there. Maybe we should take a really avoid the, nice maybe avoid the rain. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It, like I said, odd weather phenomena. I would say take like you know really good cloaks, but don't dress for you know warmth, if that makes any sense. Okay. Well, sure. We, we'll we'll do this. We'll head to the Vale of Dancing Waters. Sounds. We'll gather our troops and we'll wait there. You 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 will communicate your plan to us when you have one. Yes, one yeah. Once everybody's together back at the Vale, we'll uh, we'll figure based on what we got. Sounds good. All right, so you guys have uh, recruited <laughs> the Grey Wolf tribe. <laughs> Onto your team. Um, so, what is your plan now with this? These guys, they're gonna they're gonna take a rest, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If they I don't have, actually going, I was actually gonna suggest everybody short rest up and we start marching towards Westbridge. Yeah, we, how much are, time we are low have. on time. Oh, that's, sure. that's a that's a good plan because yeah, like I guess so. We could if we can't make it there today, you know, we could. Uh... We'll be halfway there. Ain't okay. no rest, rest for the wicked. So you're going to take a short rest and head to Westbridge. Um, let's let's now do a little flashback to Alpha Team. They this is now yesterday uh, for Sigma Team. They completed the puzzles at Valkandar's Tower and recruited him to their to their side. Um, it is like. Uh, late afternoon on the day prior um, to where Sigma team is at. Uh, what are what is their next plan? What is their next move? Uh, well, who else did we have on the list to go get? We were probably kind of just doing a sending to. Uh, <laughs> That lich guy, what way going after him? Yeah, I thought you guys had a way to just, you know, we need contact to find a him. Lich. Done. Start shadow boxing. Spiro and I can take a lich. N no, uh, I guess, unfortunately, I guess we're fighting liches, uh, we're befriending the lich. Oh. I oh. guess it's okay, too. Hey, 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 Zegas, what's a lich? Oh, see, a, a lich is a, a type of undead cat that is uh, very magical, very old, and very mean, very nasty. It's not a cat, it's a skeleton man. <laughs> the ten, the ten, I, I mean, I, I, I suppose if a tabaxi got into the dark arts and wanted to live forever, he, 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 one could totally be a cat. Oh, we're talking about this one in specific. I, I mean, have, have you seen him? Have you seen that he's not a, ta that he's not a cat? He is very much not a cat. He is, oh, he's a like skeleton man. He is a okay, skeleton so this is, man. Okay, I'll put this is slightly less interesting, but still, it's going to be pretty neat. It's still a little he's scary, evil, you know. The owlbear has reservations about trusting him. Perhaps we should instead put him in jail? Um, <laughs> I don't think he needs to Oh, be I don't in think jail. he's... I don't, I don't know if he's evil, but... Asylum, then. No, he's perfectly how, sane. How do you know he's not evil? Uh, how, we... how well do you guys know this cat? <laughs> We talked to this uh, lich, and he didn't have any interest in hurting us. 
He really just wanted us to leave. And now we're going back as Don't in the opposite of Don't remember, it feels like it was years ago, even though it was probably just two weeks ago. <laughs> I promise. I, I'm, yeah, I want to do that. whatever it takes to, to help our endeavor, but I do want to express some incredibly on the safety of approaching a legend being like, Hey, dog, you want to come party with us? They're notoriously not too keen on that. Well, they, he wanted us to do something for him, and then we did it, and now he's our friend. Oh. Oh, well, well she's a friend, then, sure. Did I ever actually I... send a sending to him after we, like, delivered the no. body? I don't remember. No. No. Really? No, no yeah, you guys never communicated no. with no. your friend. Nobody has told him. <laughs> <laughs> we suck so bad. I literally <laughs> could just sending it any time and never did. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I we can do it right now. Talked, yeah. I think we've talked about sending it like five times. <laughs> okay, well, uh, what, what do I? Do it now. What do I say? <laughs> Tell them that we're friends. Uh, Mission done. Help. No, uh, straightforward. Uh, yeah. yeah. Send them to sending, and say, Runwig, we have uh, helped deliver uh, the. Package. Package. Body. Body. <laughs> uh, and if you could help us in any way, that'd be great. Veil of Dancing Waters. And the Veil of Dancing Waters. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of words. Tell me the address. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it more than once. I got lots of stuff like <laughs> So, so this, uh, this, lich, this lich buddy of y'all's, uh, does he know about the whole world being in danger thing? I'm sure he assumes it. He uh, lives in one of the residencies of one of the cults. I see, I see. Wait, is he part of the cult? No, actually. Oh. They just kind of left him alone and he left them alone. They had him prisoner? No. Oh. <laughs> Did Were they I'm prisoners actually... of him? I actually am not sure. I don't know if he, like, lived there before they came in, or... I don't yeah, know. you you remember <laughs> you remember that he told you um, that they had they had moved in, to, but like that was where he lived and like did his research and hmm. um, and that he was just like kind of tolerating them. Um, that he didn't really want to like commit violence upon them. They hadn't really done anything to him. They mm -hmm. they had a, they had kind of both like mutually agreed to uh, you know let each other, l live and let live. I guess that doesn't really apply to a lich, but <laughs> 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 to live and let unlive. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> live and let die. Zygus just starts singing that. <laughs> Um, so you, so you want to send that message to, um, Renwick? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think on that note, I'm going to have to call for the night. I got, okay, Sam. No I problem. Extra shift. Okay. I got called in for tomorrow. So, oh no. Oh, yeah. No problem, uh, old guy at work got, had a heart attack a couple weeks ago. So oh, I've been covering oh, a whole oh, bunch shit. of extra shifts. Oh, okay. Oh, and running myself fucking ragged. Yeah. Well, it's, Dang it! Get, get some man. sleep and take care of some yeah. before you get the second one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I think I'm a little far away from a heart attack, but thank you. Well, well, get some sleep, regardless. <laughs> okay, I will reword that. I hope I'm far away from a heart attack. Whatever <laughs> goes. Yeah. Get some sleep and eat it slightly less cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what? Uh, we're looking at not till September, right, for the next one? Uh, no, I think we could do it in the the thirtieth. Would be in two weeks. Okay. Um, in case I don't see you guys until then, I will catch you all. All right. We'll see you later. Good Shortly. night. Sir. See ya. Good night. night. Um, so we'll, we'll actually, let's start ne next, because I was going to say we'll, I'll do this and then we'll, let's start next session with this. No. With, uh, with Renwick's response. Okay. And, um, no. and what, and what you... And, and then we'll start with Alpha Team and what and what they do to kind of catch up time timeline wise to Sigma Team. Okay, and uh, 
and this is still the same day of us doing the tower stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. So, okay. so just to get the timeline straight, it was you guys left at both teams left at the same time. Alpha team only had to travel, you know, let's see, it was like twelve miles. So they got there pretty early. They did all the Valklandar stuff. It's like early afternoon. Whereas the other team, they had to travel a full day just to get to the Crypt Garden mm. Forest. So it wasn't until it was like the morning of the next day that they did. So they're like they're probably around like noon the day after. Um where Alpha team we find like in the it's like the afternoon of the day before. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well we'll assume Alpha Team is twenty four hours uh behind Sigma team. Yeah. Bro, I'm yeah, I'm about, getting yeah. Uh, about that, yeah. Having all these talks, man, it's getting me nervous because we're gonna about to like hit the finale soon, you know? We're gonna have to fucking like there's gonna be a war going on like between two yeah. factions and yeah, but uh, potentially three if you count how the drow react to everything. Four if you count the yeah. cult as well. Yeah, because there's going to be oh, us God. and all the allies we gained. The yeah. mind the, flayers the... guarding the center temple. Yep. The drow trying to mess with them. And the cults trying to take it as well. So yeah, four, four different right. fronts and, and on this. That, and yeah, and arguably the cults may not even be a united thing. So it could be like a six-way war. Mm-hmm. Because it's us, drow, mind flayers. Uh, Earth Cult, Water Cult, and Fire Air Cult. Mother of God. Indeed. Although I honestly don't know what the fucking Water Cult's gonna do. They're gonna flood half the city so they can ride sharks or something? Like, I don't know. That would be <laughs> dope as hell! I, that would be silly. That I would be see awesome. it happening. But... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be. I'm excited. Yeah. And and I'm here's the thing, guys. That all of this isn't even what we need to do. We just do all of this to get to the temple uh, underneath the temple. So we have to do all this just to get to the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we get to go through the dungeon. Sh- we should probably buy like potions and shit. <laughs> like, we got five, so <laughs> that's not go. enough. I mean, we, we don't. We don't got money. We got trail mix. Uh, we should maybe get. We are like, going to be climbing stuff. over the corpses of all of these people. Maybe we should go to a <laughs> store. I mean, like, spend our, all our money on things. I've got four hundred gold. I can't buy shit. <laughs> uh, fuck. How much is a potion? I don't even know. Uh, a, a normal healing potion is fifty gold. However, the only pe- people around here would probably have them. Well, I mean, maybe we could find some at Westbridge, but uh. Other the, uh, than, like, Remwick, like, it would be Miss Cordelia, and we already spent most of our fucking money well, on her. Well, the, um... I gotta I think about it. We're gonna have, like, like breaks, like, short rests, where we won't have, you know, we could spend potions to get our, our you know... Yeah, I think that the, or, I think that the dwarves at, um, Summit Hall, that was, like, what they could... Or not Summit Hall, pff, at, um, Vale of Dancing Waters... They, that was kind of what they offered was like that they would send their clerics for healing and that they would give you mm-hmm. guys healing potions. So they can definitely they'll like hook you up with some healing potions before yeah. you go. Yeah. Uh, what are the uh, what are the elves giving us? Are they giving us like archers or are they giving us like like oh. warriors or or druids? They they do potions too, right? Yeah, they're going to. They could give. They could. I mean, they gave you those potions, but they could definitely like they'll definitely be bringing some extras and they could give you more. Um, I think you guys will have a plethora of potions to be able to bring in with you. Um, and we're going to war, man. We need to like prepare. They will also, yeah, they, they said that they're going to be sending like their druids and their like rangers. So it seems like they have a lot of, like when you looked at their warriors, it seems like they're like kind of hiding the, their typical strategies are like both, you know, druidic magics um, but then also like kind of hiding in the shadows and shooting it with bow and arrow from distance. Yeah, some like okay. guerrilla yeah. warfare. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're like they're not like G- rank go- gorilla and gorilla. <laughs> and once hey. that city's flooded, they'll be even better terrain for them. There you go. <laughs> okay, that, that actually the druid stuff reminds me. I do want to do one last RP thing with the druid village before we head out, but we can do that whenever we you know swap back to Sigma team. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. 
I'll, nope. I'll, I'll, I'll write a note so I can remember that for next time. And Ryan, I've been thinking. I, I I've been thinking about a strategy for the war. So don't worry. Okay. I, ultimately, yeah, like ultimately, all the war stuff is really just to punch us a hole and get us a distraction so we can get down to that lower temple to get to the oh god, what was it called again? The the black stone. Or yeah, but who knows what's we, we, what's we, in we, there, we, dude? You don't even know what's in gym. there. Yeah. yeah. So you guys got to break through past all the mind flares to get into the. Temple of the Primordial. Yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, you have no idea what's down there. Right. Because through the temple, and hope there's no other sub dungeon to get to that gem. Yeah, also, like, we... our our ultimate goal isn't to take out the mind flares and the drow and the cultists. Our ultimate goal is to, yeah to get past all of them and down to the master gym and the primordial, mm-hmm. primordial temple. Oh my god, this is so crazy. We, we like we've got. We, once we're done gathering allies here, we have one more thing we try to do to, if we have enough time, but it involves getting John to seduce a, a drow princess. I don't, I don't think he's going to be down for it. <laughs> I mean, uh... if, he he won't be down for it, but that would be nice because that would turn it from like all of our factions versus three hostile factions to all of our factions plus drow versus two hostile factions. Yeah, it, it, well, I, I, honestly, I'm not even sure if it won't make them hostile, but right now, what my big concern is, is our only map of that whole place came from the drow, and I'm worried that they've just given us some sort of fuck-all map, and we're just going to end up running into the goddamn Elder Brain on our way to, uh, way to this fucking temple. That's my concern. But if we can ally with John or get John to ally with them, then suddenly they're like, oh, we have a reason for you to come back from this mission. So yeah, here's the actual map, or here's a little more intel about, you know, don't go this way. It's full of brain dogs. Yeah, like, the, the hardest part of that is really just getting John on board with it. Like, the uh, best way I can see to make that happen is to either convince him via the like angle of, hey, we're doing this so we can screw them all over like, immediately afterwards. We're doing this as a setup for a larger fuck you to them. Or mm-hmm. the shadier option of domination. <laughs> the shadier option of one of us like disguising as John and trying to pretend to be him. I don't know how far that could go because you know. <sighs> I will take one for the team and 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 bed the drow princess. Oh, my burden is so heavy. Does it does it dispel magic like become obviously not real once they like get too close to you? Uh, if they touch me, they they know that whatever they're touching, like like, it, my my illusion can't like simulate touch. But other than that, okay, okay. The real issue is I don't speak their language naturally. So, oh, oh. <laughs> although I don't know if John does either. So that's a good. Well, hey, if you're pretending point. to be John, then you just play up like, oh yeah, I never learned. Maybe you can teach me how. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe you're maybe John's just supposed to be like a trophy husband. Oh, hmm. Hold on. Maybe I just stay John then. And I was gonna say this is how we lose Artemis. He he stays disguised as John in a in a drow princess's <laughs> chambers forever. It's it's not it's not far from from his ideal world of like you know just be treasured always. <laughs> I love it. All right, like folks. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna head off to sleep, but uh, good session. Yes. Yeah, thank you. It was fun. Good session. Yeah, thank you. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, man. Good night. Good night. Catch y'all later. Good night, guys. Good night.